Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to Floral Friday, number three. And today I thought I would take advantage of the beautiful hydrangeas I have here. Um, and today's arrangement is basically a simple arrangement using two types of flowers. However, what I want to show here is look how easy an arrangement with one type of flower would be. Because this is simply my hydrangeas I cut for today's arrangement put into this blue vase that I use both to decorate as well as hold flowers as I'm waiting to decorate. I mean, look how lovely, and I, I literally just stuck these in here. I mean, you could fuss about and do what you like with it, but look at a single flower in a vase, definitely coordinated color-wise, I think. Um, I mean, you could do this with any type of a larger flower, flocks, those type of things. So this, in a way, is, here's a bonus arrangement, one type of flower. I didn't even have to add greenery, just the leaf of the, the hydrangea itself. So, But today's arrangement is going to be a simple arrangement with two flowers, and today's two flowers are um, my variety of hydrangeas, mop heads, lace caps, other varieties. I forget what this variety is. It's very tight. It's like a snowball variety. And then the wild flower that I love, Queen Anne's Lace or Wild Carrot or Cow Parsley, um, just because I love the lacy quality of it. And these last forever. My arrangement from last Floral Friday, these are still going so strong. And these you can literally get on roadsides, and they are a weed, so I don't think they're protected or anything. So now I used to own a flower shop, and we used to do this for weddings, um, both a high-end wedding. I'm using this vase that I have that I really love. It has, um, actually used to sell these vases. Oh, hold on, there is a boat coming in because, of course, I live on the water, and every time I go to film in the summer, a boat comes in. Anyway, <laughs> so this is a vase that I love and I used to carry this at my shop years ago when I owned a floral shop and um, did weddings and things. It's just a nice vase that has a fern design but anyways this would be like what we would use for like a high-end wedding but then we would also do the same technique I'm about to show you for a more casual beach wedding or a country wedding where the, you could just use an old jam jar for it. Today I'm using this but you could also do the same thing in the jam jar. So what we would do is we take a, a, a leaf such as often ho hostas are my favorite for that Number one, because I grow hostas and have always grown hostas. And this is just a small variety of the type of hostas I have. Now we have quite a bit of deer here at Bunny Hall. Like we live, there's quite a bit of woodland we have, so the deer just come in and feast away. But luckily I have enough hosta that I, overall the deer get some dinner and I also get some lovely things to look at. So hosta is always a really good thing. Um, you can use other type, you can even use like store-bought uh, greens like the the ferns and that type of thing. Uh, it just depends on how long it's going to last in the water. Hostas tend to last uh, pretty good in the water without getting, you know, gunky. And in fact, you can add a little bit of um, aspirin and that usually keeps the gunk down. But my, I keep my arrangements for about five to seven days, so it's not an issue for me. Um, so what we do is we're going to do it with this vase here, is we would take a leaf, like a hosta leaf, and simply curl it in the jar. And if you need to cut the stem some, do do what you need to make it curl in there but now why I like doing it particularly in this jar is I love the pattern on this jar it is a um, as I said it has a pretty leaf design however I'm going to use a darker leaf because that one's a bit pale so if I use a darker leaf like this green one here look how the second I put that in a a cut glass or any sort of glass that has a pattern on it, look how suddenly you can just see that design. So so with your jam jar or your vase that you love or any clear receptacle, I mean, I suppose you could even do plastic. Um, you could go to the dollar store and get plastic things, I suppose. Just take the leaf and place it how you like. And this is where you can have fun with different color qualities of leaf because this is basically making, this is part of the design, but it is also making the vase a different looking animal, if you will. And I want to, I'm not taking a lot of time because I want to show that, I mean, it's super easy to do flowers and I think people sometimes just stress out about it. As I said, this was literally me picking the flowers and sticking them in this vase and it was fine. Okay, so it's hard, again, hard to see. Let's look here. See, I like this tree full, this three uh, color look here. In fact, maybe I'll put something down on the very bottom just to get a little bit more color down there. See, just in this case, I just stuck it straight down. 
And another good thing about this is if you look inside, see the stems of the hosta? This will also act as a frog to hold up, to help hold your flowers. So with that, I'm going to stick this pretty yellow one at the top, like that. See how, I, I mean, I just think even just this itself is beautiful. So that, and maybe I'll do, I think that's probably good. I'm, I'll keep that as, I'll decide if I want this to be the front or the back. Now the next thing I would do is pick out your hydrangeas. I would take the, your largest one first, that's just my preference. So this is the biggest one I have, and I'd stick it down in there and decide about height. Actually, that's not too bad. And I'm going to leave these leaves because you can always take them off, but you can't put them back on. So I'm going to, I think I do want that kind of in the center like that. So what I'll do next is after I get my center flower, which the center hydrangea, then I'm going to take my secondary flower, which could, again, could be anything, even baby's breath. In this case, it is cow parsley or Queen Anne's lace. And I'm going to take a couple of those, put one this way, kind of almost making a, um, a little cross. And again, it's not an exact science. It's not holding it up yet, but that's okay. So with these two, you can even hold them in your hand like this. It's almost like this old game we used to play. I think it was called pickup sticks or something. You'd put these weird sticks in a metal tube and there would be marbles inside. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know childhood. So, um, but see, by just taking those two and the main thing, now I've got the arrangement kind of set how I want, and now I'm going to add water. I'm just going to hold that and add water. Because the water does also help hold up things, I believe. So now all I've done is add leaves. Oop, and see, sometimes this happens, but that's okay. Push that down in there. The leaves, um, all what we've done is place leaves in the vase, or the container, and we've placed a couple of, second, of the secondary flowers to help hold up the primary flower. So now, based on what I can see in my camera, because I can't see the front of the arrangement. <laughs> now here's where, if you wanted to, if you want to use another one of the leaves you're using for the center, now would be a good time to stick one in and say, oh, this, is, this will help hold it up. Now I don't know if you consider that cheating, because it is still two flowers. This is not a flower, but... And then I kind of have the feeling of wanting to put one here and one there. I think a lot of floral arranging is kind of the feeling you get about what you want to do with it. So now I want to take a smaller version of what I'm doing, of the main flower, which is a hydrangea. I'm so mad that I did not save the tag for this uh, type of hydrangea. I only have one bush of this variety, and it's the most beautiful, tight little head. So if any viewers know what variety this is, please tell me in the comments so I can order more. <laughs> because it's one of my favorites and I only have one. So um, again, arranging by looking in the viewfinder. I'm just sticking the small one down there and then I'll take a second of that same variety. You can see these really were interwoven with one another. Look at how beautiful that is. I don't know if the camera's focusing. Um, and I'm taking the lower leaves off, but again, still leaving the top leaves on. And since I placed this here, I want to counterbalance it here. And very loose, very simple, and again, trying to make it quick so you can see it's not that hard to do. And I'm going to make this arrangement so you couldn't be viewed all the way around, because when we would do these, they would often be table centerpieces, sometimes lower, and then sometimes this would maybe be a side piece. But we'd still design it to be all the way around. Now let me just look around in the front of this. Let's see. Based on this, I kind of want another... I'm going to hold off on this purple one. So next I'm going to take the third type of hydrangea I have. But again, this could all be the same mop head or whatever. I just happen to grow a variety. Look at that beautiful lace cap. And look at that brilliant blue. It looks probably like I've upped the saturation, but I have not. This is the color our Cape Cod Zoil makes hydrangeas. So taking off the top le or the lower leaves but leaving the top, I feel like... See how there's sort of an empty spot right there? I'm going to stick the lace cap with its leaves right there. And don't be afraid, like see that's coming forward too much? Just take it out and take the stem off the bottom. Now it fits. Now look at, I mean I think in a way that almost looks done. But now I want to have something on the back side, so if I turn this around, so this could be used all the way around, I think I would take another of the larger mop heads. And I think I'm going to try, but again, this is just trial and error. I'm going to try this here because I think it will both fill up 
the arrangement from the front as well as look pretty from the back. So now this is the front and I think that really does add to it. And then with that third of the purple color that I like, again this could still all be the same color but this just happens to be the variety I'm doing, I'm going to just stick this here because I feel like that rule of threes often is true in arts and visuals. So that kind of brings a color. But now if these were all the same color, that would also work as well. And in fact, it would be, you wouldn't have to, maybe the three similars would be the shape as opposed to the color. Now I have a couple more lace caps. Um, and you don't have to use all. Like I feel like maybe this one's a bit too big for this arrangement. In fact, I almost feel like this is getting close to being done. So let's do a small lace cap, maybe right around there. Taking a little bit off because I know I can tell I want it to be shorter the pretty lace cap. Now I'm thinking, let me look at this, I kind of want this to be a continuation. And I'm pulling this wild carrot or Queen Anne's lace up because again you want to, you kind of want the, the flowers to show as much as you can. But now, see by doing that, now I've made this outer, I've pulled this up and I've made this outer area. This to me obviously is a very empty spot, but this is where I could either come in with another hydrangea or some more of the Queen Anne's Lace. I think in this case, since I'm trying to focus on one main flower with just the accent of Queen Anne's Lace, I'm just going to stick this in here just to kind of fill that space. Now let me see what we have here. Now see, I think that looks beautiful, to me anyway. And then you have the pretty greens, and it's sort of just like a, a mound. It's almost as if you're mimicking the bush. Like, I sometimes let these wild ca carrots grow near my hydrangea, although they prefer full sun and they prefer shade. But I will let wildflowers grow amongst my hydrangeas because I think they look pretty. Okay, so now, if I want to, which I'm not sure if I do, do I want another bit of green? I kind of feel as if this extra hosta leaf could be quite pretty here as a backdrop for the hydrangea. And again, I'm thinking of I'm going to be making this into a painting as well. And I'm going to stick one more of the wild carrot or the Queen Anne's lace here. Now let's see what we have. Now this might be a bit overdone for some, but I personally think it's really, really beautiful. So okay, I'm not sure if this is showing the whole image, but I'm going to call this done. And what else is nice is now you simply have uh, this wild carrot and this hydrangea. I mean, just these two flowers stuck in a jam jar. If I cut that lower, that would be so pretty. So, so that is the simple arrangement of two types of flowers in a clear vase or jam jar using leaves, in this case hosta, as a decorative motif. So. Let's get back and see how this looks. Oh yes, now see, I really like that. I think it looks quite lovely. Um, let me set it up on the side rail and we will see if we can get a shot of it. See, I think that's, I think that's quite lovely. Of course, the lighting isn't the best. Let's turn this around and see how lovely I think it's quite lovely. So that is today's Floral Friday. I hope you enjoyed it and I will be doing a sketch of this piece and it will eventually become a, an oil painting, a digital oil painting, and then it will also become a pattern or design for fabric and um, other items. So um, that's Floral Friday. Thanks for joining me here and let's get to editing. Well, thank you for joining me at An Artist Life. Yes, I'm thinking of changing the name of the channel to An Artist's Life. Uh, I'm not sure, it just seems like it may be more fitting because I may not always be by the sea when I'm doing things for my channel. So we'll see, it's all an adventure. But thank you for joining me again here today on Floral Friday. And I hope it encourages you or inspires you to want to try to do an arrangement and possibly even do some artwork from it. So thank you for joining me again and I'll see you next time. Cheers.